Estás escuchando The Bad Guy Show. Hell yeah, you know what it is. The Sean Guillano Live, the Great FM, Latino.com. It's The Bad Guy Show. Coming at ya with a special guest in the house. The homie Orion. How you doing today, big dog? What they do, man. Thank you for having me, bro. Yo, thank you very much for coming through. Um, you know, as a, a, you know, like, being part of, like, the movement and everything, being in the movement, uh, there's not... I don't know, there's there's just so much that you can say about it, but um the fact is that you're part you've been part of this movement. You know what I'm saying? You've been you you've been doing your thing for a little bit. Uh tell us a little bit about you, big dog. Um how did you start in in, in the music? Um uh well basically uh yeah, like you said, I've been at it for like a very a couple of decades now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? In the scene my down here. Speak to the mic, man. Yeah, my bad, bro. Uh, so yeah, been uh, been at it for a minute. Um, basically, got into it, you know, emceeing. You know, I, I, I did graffiti early on. You yeah, know, but, but it wasn't it wasn't like I was doing graffiti because like I want to be part of hip hop. I was just doing you graffiti. Just loved it, you yeah. know what I'm saying? It was just, what time frame was that? What, what year that was that? Uh, the '90s, bro. So like wow. '92 to like '99 is possibly when I like I kind of like started leaving it behind. You know. Okay. And I was getting into more emceeing and freestyling and shit like that. But I wasn't doing, like, talent shows or open mics, nothing like that. It was mostly just freestyling and ciphers or whatnot. And um, I wanted to get into producing and making beats. So I went to Full Sail, graduated from there for recording engineering, and just got into that, you know. But I, like, quickly realized that I didn't want to just be behind the boards, you know, just engineering for other cats. Because you also make beats. Because, yeah, yeah. And, and you so, rap. And, so, uh, yeah. So, and, and then the, the rapping just took, like, it just went to the forefront. Like, I was just writing, like, every day. I wanted to get really nasty. So You, you, you graduated Full Cell in Orlando. Yeah, in yeah. 2002. 2002. Yeah. Um, what, was it, what was it like in Miami at that time for, for MCs, people trying to get up? Like, was it anything similar to now? Was it sparse? What was, what's your opinion on that? Well, um, uh, when I was in high school, I just, like, my, my crew was a bunch of degenerates and shit, dog. So, like, I wasn't, like, <laughs> we weren't doing anything productive with our time, bro. We're not, we weren't, we weren't fucking recording. We weren't doing anything like that. We were just yeah. getting fucked up, trying to get bitches, and that's it. What high school you went to? I went to Pace. Actually, okay. I had my 20-year high school reunion yesterday. Oh, damn. I feel old. Wow. I feel Congratulations. Old. It's, yeah. 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 But, uh... I feel you. I graduated, uh, 98 from Braddock. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, like... Miami is a is a chaotic city it is. that you could get wrapped up in the nightlife very fast and wrapped up in all the bullshit very quickly. Yeah, yeah. When I went to uh, Orlando uh, for Full Sail, I, I you know what I'm saying I explored bit. the hip hop scene there. Okay. And it blew me the fuck away, bro. Really? Because cats out there, well, I mean, I say the story a lot, but like cats out there was was really motivated. Uh, I met dudes that were in high school that were going to dude's house to record. Wow. And I was just like, this is different. Like, this is what you're doing on your off time? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? It's crazy, yeah. you know? Uh, there was a level of focus <laughs> there that dudes had. That you didn't on, have. That I did not have. Yeah. And, I, and I thought it was nice. You know, because everybody thinks they're nice when they start freestyling and for shit. For sure, for sure. And I thought it was nice, but I like I got my ass handed to me in battles. Really? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, But it was great. It was great. A lot of the dope MCs from there, Johnny Storms, Matt Ills, Midas the Beast, uh, Murdoch from uh, Vets of Kin, and... Well, the list goes on. They got a lot of talent out there. So yeah. when I came back, I came I came back to Miami with a purpose, bro. You came and I, I came motivated as yeah. fuck. And that's why I was saying I was writing every day and I was like ciphering every day, freestyling every day. And there I was attacking the open mics. So that 2002 to 2005 era of like my come up yeah. was getting to know the scene down here for real. Yeah. Like I said, I, I was still doing my, you know, my, my fucking shit of yeah. trying to get bitches and fucking getting fucked up. And, you know, you had a purpose. Bro, but I had a purpose, too, where, like, my time was now, like, all right, I'm, it's Saturday. I know I could go out to the club and yeah. try to, you know, get me some, some honey for the night. <laughs> but you know what? I'm going I'm to I'm go to this open mic. That's and then after song. that, that's I'm going to link up with this other cat who makes beats and, and we're going to record. Yeah. You know, and yeah. that's really how I got to know the scene, you right. know? And immediately I started figuring out, like, damn, you know, all my old school tapes, you know what I'm saying, that I used to record off, yeah. like, underground stations in the 90s when I was a jit and I couldn't get out of the crib and I was 13, you know what I'm saying, yeah. doing that shit, um, had gems that were local gems. 
Oh, really? So I started figuring out, like, oh, oh this, this is, is this, this cat, guy. and then I'll end up meeting him in the scene. Because you know how it is. Like, every everybody's connected, yeah. and, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. just chopping it up with, with cats that came before me, and just to, you know what I'm saying, learn, you know was what I'm there, saying? Was there any, was there any uh, MC in particular that kind of, like, took you under his wing, that kind of showed you the ropes, yeah. or, or was it like a... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, Infinite. AKA Sweet Jesus right. is the dude that I met. He was he was hosting an open mic. I heard a freestyle, uh, a 1995 freestyle that you put up on on your, oh, on your for YouTube the, page. Uh, the tape, yeah. yeah, yeah, man. Shout out to Inf. Yeah, that, yeah, shit, that's, is, that shit is fire, right? That shit is fire yeah, yeah. For, for that era. Oh, yeah. Wow. That and was and, and shout, shout out to uh, DJ Ben Hop. He made that beat. Dope, dope, dope. You know what I mean? Dope, and. Dope. Uh, but yeah, Infinite, I met him at an open mic that he was hosting, and he was, he was fucking destroying everybody. Yeah. He's like the host that is also a performer, and just out <laughs> shining everybody, <laughs> like that style. guy. Yeah. And I'll never forget this. That's I went, dope. I was with, uh, I was with my homie Roger. At the time, I was 20. Okay. And um, my dude Roger, he's like an older dude, lived on the beach. He's like in his 30s at that point. Yeah. He had this little hot honey that he was dating at the time that lived on the beach too. Okay. And then she brought her friend and this girl was like 25, 26. Now I'm in 20, I'm looking like I'm 16. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I've always had a baby face. So she wasn't giving me no, no play, no play, bro. And, and this was the second night we had chill. Cause the first night, nigga, I aimed for the fences dog. Yeah. And I was not yeah. getting anything. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like she shut me down. But the thing with me, dude, like, Yo, it's brass balls. It's brass balls for a reason, though. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not one of these dudes that gets shut down and is, oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, she was even like, the, as it, like, she's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. It's just not, you know, you know when the, when bitches shut you down. Yeah, and I was yeah, just like, yo, yeah. it's all good. We can keep smoking weed and chilling. I don't give a fuck. You know right. what I mean? And she was like, so like, oh damn, you know, like this, he's not. Blowing a gasket or, or right, losing that's, control that's of himself. That's pretty much you know? what girls expect after you. you yeah, after, you after they do your ego girls and all. You know, nah, nah, I'm, like, I'm, I'm like, yo, up. I'm like, I'm glad we got that out of the way. Fuck nice, it, let's just nice, keep chilling. Nice, nice. So the second night we chill, this dude's wrecking it, and I'm nervous as fuck, dog, because I'm just like, yo, man, like. I gotta do my thing. I went up there. I did my shit. My shit was I. You know what I mean? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna front like I kill. I didn't kill it. I did I. I did I. But Imp is an energetic ass motherfucker, bro. And okay. when we, uh, you know, after the the poetry stuff was done, DJ started playing music. You know, everybody's like shaking hands and networking and doing that sort of shit. And and he comes up to me while she's with me, and he's just like, "Yo," he's like, "You, you, you got it." You got it. You're the one. Like, so uh, some Neo, like, Lawrence uh, Fishburne uh, Neo uh, shit. It was crazy. In front of the chick. Yeah, dude. So I banged that, that, I banged that shit yeah. out. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. So it helped you out. Like, it, yo, it, big it, time. I was like, yo, what's big the number? Time. Like, like yo. Yeah, big and yeah, ever bro. since then, ever since then, we've, we've, been, yeah, uh, we've been real tight. And he showed me a lot, like, giving me a lot of pointers on, like, you know, the live performance aspect. Right. But it's like... Uh, for me, I have like five MCs that really were part of my quest, my path. Who Infinite is definitely one. Yeah. In Orlando, it was Midas the Beast. That's the one that made me realize I got to take this pen serious. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And put that fire under me. And put the performer fire under me. And my dog NFA put the recorder fire under me. Because okay. he was like, this is a young... I met NFA when he was like 14. And he was recording in his crib. And I helped him put some of the shit together. Yeah. But what he was doing with it was like, I'm like, yo, this kid's phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? As an engineer, as a as an MC. Engineering himself, you know, but just MCing him and his his presence on a track Dope. was from the gate. It was, and it made me realize like what I need to do when I record. You know what I'm saying? Not that I I copied from him. No, no, but like you heard. Yeah, 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 it's the yeah. influence of it. And then uh, one take, the dude that made uh, the beats for Domestic Animals Attack. Right. Was my mentor when it came to beats, because nice. like I was making beats after Full Sail and everything, but you know they just weren't like they weren't hitting. They were there. You know what I mean? Yeah. And when I met One Take, me and him started uh uh, you know chopping it up and shit, and he started showing me how he makes his beats and everything, and really taught me a lot, man. Really took my production, 
you know, a, a step up. Really? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. From just absolutely. being around him? And being around him, learning his techniques. Yeah, yeah. I will feed him information of what I learned in Full Sail, and he would apply it. So we learned off each other a oh, lot. That's dope. But he was, he was miles ahead of me when it came to his beats, let, when let, I met him in, like, 04 and shit. Let me ask you this. Like, do you... The, the experience that you had, like with, with with you know those MCs and with the different people in, in your career, do you do you see that ha happen? That how can I make mm -hmm. this question better? Is that something that you see nowadays happen? Do you, or, or do you see kind of like more of mm -hmm. like the the like you know people who who just you know rather on, just on do it own. solo and yeah. you know, fuck, I, I feel I feel I feel where you're going there. Yeah, and I agree because. The home, the advent of the home studio, yeah, really took hold when the inbox right became right. You know what it was. Yeah, I remember yeah. having conversations about, yo, we gonna get this inbox, right? And it was a game changer it was, for it a was. lot of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, and that was in oh four oh five, right? And fast forward to where we're at now, bro. The shit you could do at your home oh, and on yeah. your own. No, it's, it's yeah. Incredible. So yeah. I think there is something that's lost there. You know, you people not getting together and collaborating like that. Do you, they don't need but do you each think other it's a, much. right? But do you think it's a, it's like it's because of let's say technology, or because nowadays there's more egos. Mm. Could be a little bit of both. Yeah. I think the egos has always been there, but I think when when I think the technology is the biggest thing okay. because you don't need anybody else. All right. Or last that that's that's what you that's what you, you think. think. Right. Yeah. You yeah, really yeah. do need somebody. Of course. Else. Yeah. Everybody needs a, an extra pair of ears no, and stuff. A team, period. Yeah. Like any, any, yeah. Any, anybody. But, it, but I, I think the good the great artists figure that out quickly. Okay. And don't don't rely on you know you know, obviously the, you got your Kanye West with the mega maniacal ego right. and shit yeah. and, and, and those people exist, people, but even he He has a knows. great team. The, the great ones know you yeah. need other people there. Yeah, yeah, he keeps yeah. fucking what's his name? Uh, uh uh off the clips with him at all times. No, push a T. Push a T. That was yeah. a hell of fucking hell of yeah. a MC, yeah. man. Hella pimp. Um Growing up as a as as a youth listening to hip hop who who who's your favorites? Who do you who do you think influenced you the most? Bro, you wearing the shirt right now, man. Wu Tang, it's, it's all Wu Tang. Yeah. Wu Tang again? Oh, you know you know what's funny though that it, you said a couple you have a couple lines in your daily your daily news song that mm. comes off a little Capadonna ish. I was like, oh, this is dope. I like <laughs> I this. I that. like this. Yeah, that was actually yeah, the, your 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 uh, your rhyme scheme. It is very, it's very dope and it's very reminiscent of that. So I, I, I like, I'm, I'm telling you, like, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the, uh, uh, of the, of the culture. I'm a student of the culture, and you know, I, I, I like to analyze rappers, and I like Word. to analyze rap. I like to listen to rap. You know what I mean? Um, you know, it's crazy. Everybody talks Bad Boy, Death Row. For I me, mean, it was always Loud Records, bro. You know, yeah, it was always, it was always Mob Deep, Wu Tang, Exhibit, the to, Licks. To be honest know? with you, like I'm. You said exhibit the like. I'm, I'm more. I'm. I'm more. I like personally. I like more West Coast shit. Okay. So yeah, the licks, King T, Exhibit, uh, 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 Razzcast, all those mm -hmm. dudes that yeah. I, I used to love. You know, listening to because I, I love the wordplay. Not that. Not that the East Coast didn't have wordplay, but yeah. I mean, look, Loud had Big Pun, had uh, yeah, uh, Dead Bob Press. D, Dead Press. Uh, so you know, I, I, I love it all, but like. My preference has always been West Coast music for some reason. I love West Coast saying. music, bro. So I feel you. Like, West Coast, for me, like, I didn't get into, like, West Coast shit really, really hard until, like, my senior year. Okay. Because before that, I liked it, but I was such a woo head. I was such right. a, like, East Coast dude that, like, I just wasn't fucking with it like that. But I guess... You know, all my East Coast shit started getting played out to me. Right. So, like, when I was a senior, I, bro, I was just, like, Tupac, Snoop. Yeah, yeah. Just revisiting all that. Because by that point, right. you know, 2000, uh, Dre 2001 was already right, out. But right, it, right. It, maybe that was also a, a factor in making me go back to listen to the, to, old, to the old shit. And, and then get I got into, like, a heavy West Coast phase. You know? It was just, like, everything West Coast for a I, minute. I, I love the West Coast. And, and it, what's, what's, funny is, what's funny is that, like, people, like... Uh, Ice Cube, when he mm -hmm. went and did his own thing, like he got the Bomb Squad. Yeah, and they're from New York. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So he had like a New York sound with a, a West Coast flavor in it, and it was like, pff, it, it was, was dope. dope. It, it was, was very dope. dope. And I think that, like those albums, like The Predator, um, which other one? Um, 
You know what pissed me off about the Predator? What? Dude, check yourself. They didn't put the check yourself remix, yeah, the remix on, it, bro. on it, bro. The original is cool, but, but I, 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 I like that remix so but, much. But more. supposedly the remix, the reason that it didn't go into the album is that the remix came about when the album was already kind of like finalized. So they didn't. That, that's supposedly some oh, okay. s- some stuff that I heard in the background. But that's but yeah, the one. The that's the one is, flaw. That. That's the one flaw yeah, of that album, album for me is that it does, it doesn't uh, have that certificate. Those are great albums. Yeah, by yeah. Like you. I I like those. I like Lethal Injection more than America's Nightmare. Really? Yeah. I like. I don't know. I don't know. I, I can just, sit down here and talk about Cube all day because I, I freaking love you, that you, that, you, that yeah. man's discography. All thanks to my brother. My brother was the one who got me into hip hop. Mm-hmm. Uh, and my sister a little bit, but my brother more so. Um, and I remember like being maybe eight or nine, and my brother having a CD collection, and he we had shit from like from CNC Music Factory down to like NWA. You yeah. Know what I mean? So we, okay. we heard like he heard a lot of hip hop, right? A lot of rap shit. And in the nineties, you know, the beginning mid nineties, you know, it was still like Technotronic was considered you know rap music kind of you know because it was mm-hmm. like you know. Even though it's house music or dance, or technical, yeah, yeah. You want but um, I got lost in a YouTube wormhole one day, and I found the girl from, from Technotronic. I was I like, what, what happened? What happened? What is what, what, what is going on with her? Um, uh, she's off in another country. Um, damn, I can't remember what country it was, but she's good. She's got I think like she's a, from like the UK, isn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And she's got a she's got a a, a YouTube channel. Really? And I started. I, I'm like. Oh, I kind of, I'm kind of interested in That's like, cool. her story. That's you know cool. how it is, but dude, those people. people were super fucking, super popular, yeah. like everywhere yeah, in the I world. Remember. That song yeah. was a number one. Um, what, what, as a kid, what, what, what kind of music did you, did you gravitate towards? Was it always hip hop, or did you have like a, like a, like a rock phase? Did you anything else? Yeah, I had a rock too? phase. Yeah. Uh, you know, my brother and and my cousin, they're older. And my cousin's a guitarist, so okay. I had a heavy rock phase. I loved uh, Guns N' Roses, Metallica, yeah. Nirvana. Like, that whole grunge era yeah. was my shit. Really? Yeah, because it's like fucking aggressive. You know, I had a lot of fucking issues at home, bro. You know what I mean? So, you know, the 90s <laughs> era of music was perfect for, like, pissed yeah. off kids. Yeah, and shit, actually, you know what I mean? Actually, like, kids actually, going through shit. Actually, actually, yes. And uh, so, yeah, it was that, but, like, uh, my brother was one of the people that introduced me to hip hop I would have to say cuz yeah. you remember when housing was the not right. house music no, but no, the no, dance house, of yeah, housing yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to I used to house yeah, jungle brothers yeah, used to have that yeah. song that girl yeah. I house, house you. you yeah yeah but that was a whole thing remember yeah. buying the fucking shoes with the iron tips right. in the front yes. yeah yes. I was all yes. about yes. that I was, yes. Get, yes. I was going to Payless getting those shoes yeah I did that too man yeah no, that's that's crazy, you know, my, my earliest memory of like uh you know uh housing housing which is really just up rocking right was uh uh choices yours okay uh dope. from black sheep though that's one dope. of my earliest uh you know fond memories of me doing I, man, that. I, love, I used to love that era of hip-hop is so dope yeah man. black sheep bro. i had you probably back brother bass music bass you know music. what i'm saying yes, yes. my brother my brother when he had his whip he had a system yeah so that's the first time i remember jamming to a bass patrol a bass patrol yeah. cassette yeah. DJ Magic Mike. Yeah, all that ATL stuff. Yeah. Yo, yeah. which a lot of people don't realize, like, if you go back to the DJ Magic Mike shit, yeah. the dude's from Orlando. There was okay. an MC okay. that was down with him named MC Madness that's from Carroll City. Oh, really? Yo, Mad, he's, uh, he passed away a couple of years ago. Oh, really? I don't know how, how long exactly, maybe 2009, but uh, Madness was dope, bro. Yeah? Yeah, man. Damn. Going to his, going to look, look up DJ out. Magic Mike on uh, on uh, Spotify. I'm gonna check and You that can out. find the shit that they had together. They had a song called uh, Dynamic Duo. Okay, that was my shit as a, as, a, as a as a as a jit riding in my brother's car. Yeah, because bro, that. that shit is like, what's so dope about it is that he's really, he's killing it. Like yeah. lyrically, he's he's dropping it on a beat that's 120 BPM. Yeah, yeah. The bass is not supposed to be yeah, just, and, yeah. and Magic <laughs> Mike cuts, bro. Right. Cuts. I mean, I think he was a DMC champ. I may I may be wrong, but okay. uh, but yeah, man. Like um, going back to like his catalog and being like, damn, this dude was really like on some Big Daddy Kane. What's the name of that the, the MC again? MC Madness. MC Madness. I'm gonna peep that. So look up the early DJ Magic Mike shit, and uh, the MC that he typically has with him is is Madness. And I got into another YouTube wormhole yeah. that yeah. I was like, damn, they dissed each other like in '94. Really? I didn't know that, and Holy I was like, shit. looking at what started the beef. 
So you know that shit is always funny to get into, man. But you uh you your stomping grounds is high Alita, right? Yeah, now absolutely. That, Hialeah homegrown, born and raised. Now, now so. that you mentioned beef, which is not really a beef, but uh a while back, uh <laughs> I know what this oh, is. Oh, H2O and them had that little Kendall versus Hialeah thing. That, that shit, I was. Why did people get into that's my, this? Is what, if it's supposed to be for fun. Which it was. Which it was. Which it was. But why were people getting into their feelings? Man, what, uh, was, what was going on, man? Why? Yo, let me tell you. I, I was not one of them. I never got into my feelings on that shit. You know, let the oh record be God. clear. And, <laughs> I never got into my feelings with that shit, man. That shit was all fun for me, man. And yeah. I hollered at H, like, yo. Um, you know, all this versus stuff is happening and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like, let's do a battle of the hoods. I right. wanted to keep it going. I wanted to do a little Havana versus Little Haiti. That's dope. Uh, South Miami versus North Miami. I wanted to do that shit. Uh, but, bro, I've been mad busy, family and music yeah, and all this stuff. Yeah. Kendall versus Hialeah was perfect because H is my brother. Yeah. So I'm just like, yo, we'll keep it all love. We'll, you play tracks from... And, and, yo, he was cocky. He was. On the, on the phone, he was just like, yo, you sure, B? And I'm like, yo, B, listen. I know a lot of highly MCs. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, and I know I've already mapped this out in my head. Oh, my God. And, and you're my opponent, dog. I already know what you're going to play. Oh my like, God. yo, straight up. I was playing chess. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, That's uh, so dope, bro. Yeah. And so, but he, he w- w- created all the stir up, which was actually good because it gave it more promotion yeah, than I could have yeah, dreamed yeah, yeah. of was that H was just like yo I say uh, we start dissing each other on IG live and I'm just like nigga you sure because you know what I mean that, that's I, what got me to because I, I, I saw it was going on but I wasn't like paying too much attention to it and then uh, yeah. out of the wicked you know out of he wicked. put you on to yeah it. well he actually put me on to H okay to, to the whole and the WBCC, WBCC side I mean, flag shout out um, yeah shout out uh, and then, um, yeah, no, I, I was like, cause I, I usually work on, on the, uh, Thursdays and Tuesdays in the evening. Uh, but, uh, but i uh, tells me, yo brother, do you know that <laughs> Kendall and Hialeah are going at it? <laughs> and I'm like, well, let me peep this shit out. And then I saw that. I was yeah, like, okay, well, yeah. I see what's going on here. <laughs> I, th- I think, what, you know what I mean? We were going back and forth and shit and, and cats were, you know, jumping in. And for a minute, dog, it was, I mean, anybody that really watched that shit and kept up with it will tell you, dog, like, it was just me from Hialeah, like, for a long time. And then, you know, my, my dude started coming up, you know, nice. uh, Charles Fast. Okay. Uh, Caveman Bless, Divine Don Julio, LMS, and of course, of course, Art Marrera. That's where I think Art, dude, started getting like shit uh, personal because Art just Art took it to another level, bro. <laughs> like everybody was just doing like IG live shit, like yeah. yo, you know what I'm saying? You know, like I was even reading some of my rhymes some of the times. Okay. You know, like okay. you could see me like reading it because I was just like, whatever, this is some IG shit. Or, yeah. But Art like came out with an official with track. Track. Yeah. Yeah. Video, all that, yeah. and it was spiraling, bro. Yeah. When he yeah. did yeah. that yeah. shit, <laughs> yo, it started spiraling out of control, bro. To the point where, like, after he dropped video number three, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was spi- and and we were in communications, me, H, Shadi, because it, it was all yeah, like yeah, we yeah. had this SFMG thing that we were doing it under that umbrella, and uh, we were coming and we we're like, wow. Well, know where this is going and, I was, and they're like no oh, man talk to art <laughs> i'm just like I, he's he's gone rogue he's, <laughs> he's gone rogue i can't control him so like That's i amazing. did i did a newscast to just add levity to the situation yeah, yeah, yeah. and so i i did like a newscast because i felt man the tension <laughs> yo that week the tension was like getting getting hot dude and i like i was like calming egos down and brides I, and shit i had shoddy here and h here and i was like yo so what happened like oh you know Niggas getting into their feelings, you know. <laughs> oh my god, that was, it was good. I like it. So just for the just 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 to just to cover this, just to round it out. Yeah, huh? Hi, yeah. won that shit. Yo, thank you, bro. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Hi, Leo, thank you. Hey. Okay, Hi, Leo, took it. Hands down. Your mouth to God's ears. Yeah. You know, um, it's a it, it's a very cool network that that has popped up, mm-hmm. so to speak. Yeah. You know, with. Uh, uh, w, w, WBCC, uh, Jax doing 35, Word, yeah. uh, uh, oh, and Ed doing uh, uh, Bruce, uh, Bruce Beats and Eats, yeah. everything that you're doing. A lot of people, a lot, a lot of people are doing stuff, and, and I feel that like right now there's uh, there's more of a, of a movement per se 
a more mm -hmm. tangible movement than you know the four or five past. years ago. Yeah, you know? years past. Yeah. How, how do you how do you feel about that? Like, how do you feel about that 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 growth that that my the Miami movement has had? Well, I want, uh, first, I forgot to mention Jax, bro. And yeah. Jax is somebody that came in, that you know, repping Hialeah to the yes, fullest, yes, you know what I'm saying? Yes. And and what he's doing with Dirty Five is, is dope. And I think it's beautiful, bro. I think everything going on, everybody, you know what I'm saying, working, you know what I'm saying? It, it, even if it's just shouting out each other. Right. Showing that love goes a long way. It does, So, it does. like, big respect to everybody in every hood, you know what I'm saying? Kendall, Hialeah, yeah. fucking... Yeah, shout out to all you guys. Yeah, North Miami, Liberty City, you know what I'm saying? Everybody that, that really puts it down and is willing to also show love to the next man, you know? That's, and, and, and that's one of the reasons that, that I do this show. Because I think it's it's important for, for like... There has to be some kind of, like... A, I don't want to say example, but there has to be that unity, right? Mm, and, yeah. and sometimes... Well... My experience, you know, four, five, ten years ago, there was that there wasn't. There wasn't a lot of unity. There wasn't. There, and to be honest with you, the technology wasn't there where you know, uh, 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 H can do a, a show on Twitch. I can do a show on, on here. You know what yeah. I mean? So the technology wasn't there. I'm sure. I'm sure a lot of people were trying to do it because I, I've heard of pirate radios going on for a long time. You know what I'm saying? But. There wasn't that kind of like focus on okay, you know, let's let's collab, let's yeah, you know what I'm saying, let's, let's talk. Uh, yeah, you know? let's let's collab beyond just doing a track. Right, There's exactly. different ways we can yes. collab yes. and do stuff. Yes. Yes. And I think part of the reason, uh, obviously, the variable there is that the te the technology is is That's a big, but another yeah. variable and what kept our scene from truly becoming be getting unified is that Miami, Dade County, Broward we're very spread out. Everything that's is true, very spread true, out. True, and we true. got a hundred things going on. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. I, you know, a dude will have a, a, five dudes will have five different open mics on the same Friday night. And it happens now. And then, yeah. and then there's only 10 people at each one. Why do you think? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You're, you're spreading it too much. Right. So, that's what I think it was back in the days is spreading ourselves too thin, you know? And I remember definitely going to a lot of shows that, you know, sometimes there were there were it was packed, yeah, and and a lot of times it was dead, and the constant conversation of like niggas here don't support, dog, motherfuckers don't support, dog, yeah, you yeah. know this fucked up, dog, motherfuckers don't support. I go to everybody's show, no. this is like you know dudes that put on shows, yeah, yeah. which I've been there, dog. I I know I know that feeling, yeah, but it's a lot of times it's because of that. It's because the scene was so spread, yeah, and so many things going on, and because we didn't have all this. Technology, technology you speak yeah. of we were we had to rely on going out to an actual spot yeah. to get together with cats to hear music to perform to our me, own yeah. music yeah. to yeah. you know what i'm saying to discover exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. and now you could just you know open up ig yeah. and boom, boom, you know yeah and i'm not even mentioning the other distractions of miami you know what i'm saying ass and titties ass and titties <laughs> and, and there you go yeah. niggas gonna pick ass and titties ass over your open mic Boy. any day or your whatever shit you got going um, on Yo, uh, I, I want to play a couple of your tracks, Word. and then I want to come come in to, to talk about. Uh, I want to talk to you about about your music, about your projects, and what you're doing right now. Uh, but uh, let's get into this. Uh, I got a play for keeps here. So oh. right, P L Y for K P S. Right. It's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I tried to be hip. I tried to be hip. This is uh, you got abstracto el abstracto doing some cuts on this. Yeah, dope uh, DJ, dope DJ. You did the production on this. No, all the production on this album is one take. Okay. So one take did all the production dope. on this. You Very know dope. What I'm saying? Okay, so let's get into Play for Keeps. I'm chilling here with Orion. It's the Bad Guy Show. The Shana Villano, live from the Great FM Latino .com. You know how we do this. Got the sound. Let's go. Estás escuchando the Bad Guy Show. Sometimes it's good to run into an MC. Like yeah. in the crowd, yeah. Uh, you know, because when an MC tells you like, "Yo, you uh, you ripped it," it means a little bit more than it the does. average listener. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's something about. I feel you. It's like when you're just rapping just for rappers, it becomes like, oh, "Fuck, man, this 
daunting. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, a little it's bit. Like, <laughs> but, you know, when you got a, a mixture of people in there, yeah. and every so often and, and somebody that you know MCs is like sees you and is just like, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's like, all right, cool. It makes it, it makes it it makes it just a little bit extra worth it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it does. But it's, it's always good. Like, I, I, was, I was in a band for... Uh, three, four years called the last. Advice. I was checking. I, I was checking them out. What, what, what did you do for them? Did you were you I singing? A, I was an MC. Okay. I had the, you the, do the, all the, the raps. Rap yep, 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 yep. Which the dude Andres Ponce, shout out to Andres. His beat, he, like, he was always crafting beats. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like trip hop type stuff and hip hop was in there. You know what I mean? So it was easy to get on his beats and shit. So we yeah. released one album together, uh, Excursion. Okay. But I rocked with them for like three years, three, four years, bro. And like the crowds that would come, it was like the first time that I was doing shows on a regular that wasn't for a, 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 a group room of, full of rappers. That's what's up. You know what that's I'm saying? So that was dope. And, <clears throat> and, and it did get to like after like a year, I was just like, yo, this is fucking crazy. It's like nice. most of the time, I never run into another MC wow. at these gigs. Yeah. You know? And what was dope about them was that like I would just get on a track and spit two verses and that's it. Right. Right. And this was the era of the three verses, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And then Sophie and Canto, who's their vocalist, would add that like Sade presence, you know what I'm saying, it's on a, the track and shit. So it was dope. And then there was a bunch of other, like it's the jam band era, like the, in that 2004, 2005, 2006, 2009 era of. Yeah. of uh, yeah, with Ozu Tobacco Road really, was doing, yeah. Yeah, if, yeah, if you wanted to go to a live, live show, yeah, yeah. there was dope hip hop shows, but the jam band scene, right? Spam All Stars, Swen Alo, Artificial, Oski Foundation, Oski Foundation. That's my nigga. You know? He yeah. played with us last night. The last night I did a set, That's he, my dude too, he, he was a conguero of, uh, yeah. of my set. That dude is, bro, I got so much love. Big shout out to DJ Oski. Shout out to Oski. That man, since day one, has been in my corner. Since he met me, he was like, yo, we rocking. That man, like, I, I'm so fortunate to 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 have Oski as a friend. Um, it's crazy, you know. I always tell this to to, to the people who come here, like, because one way or another, we didn't we didn't know each other, but we know so many people that yeah. that know each other. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that shit. It's such a it's such a great such a great feeling. Uh, we're back live. The Great FM Latino, the Bad Guy Show, Deshaun Villano, he's sitting with Orion. We chopping it up. Uh, what are you what are you doing right now what are your what are your projects going on right tell me a little um, bit about uh, about what you're doing well right now it's domestic animals attack i got vinyl it's yeah. limited edition is the first uh project i put out on vinyl so dope dope it was like dope to finally do that it was a it's been a dream to do it very cool so my focus is mainly mainly on that you know probably do some shows and stuff and get out there again just to promote the album and very shit. cool um, I love the artwork. The artwork is is so detailed, man. It, it, it really, you, it's thank really, you. really cool, man. But I'm always cooking up too, bro. So yeah. like, I'm always recording. You know what I'm saying? Because you always gotta keep, yeah, keep that, yeah. keep that inventory. You know what I'm saying? Especially nowadays, it's all about content, and you constantly gotta be hitting up people with content. So yeah. it's just like, yeah. you know. But you I don't want to. I don't want to just do tracks. To, you know what I mean? Just to have shit. So right. Like once right. a week, I'm not, like my, my rate right now is about once a week. I do two or three songs. That's pretty good. Something pretty like good. that. That's pretty you know good. What I'm saying? But as far as putting them out, you, not you, putting them out. You just See, do them. So yeah, yeah, I get a little Doctor Doctor Dre ish with my yeah. shit. Like as, as far as the annoying part of Doctor Dre. Okay? Right, right, right. The the, yeah, the perfectionism. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, put it off. Yeah, you know? yeah. I, I be getting in that zone sometimes, but like I typically put out like a project a year. It's kind of like what I like to do. So, mm. so domestic animal attack. Uh, what's the what's the, the 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 inspiration or the mindset behind this this album? Uh, so it's like it's kind of a metaphor. You know what I'm saying? We are the animals. You know what I'm saying? And we're fully uh, uh, capable of attacking each other. Okay. If, you know, for the most fucking animalistic shit. You know. What right, I mean? right, right. So it's a little bit of that, and then it's it's a little bit of like. You know, a, a caution, you know, of like, yo, be careful. You know what I mean? You know, d don't get too comfortable around a fucking chimpanzee. You know what right. I mean? <laughs> He's not fully domesticated. He's going to bite you your face I mean? off. <laughs> so, 
so like it's, it's a little bit of that as well that's so cool it's like you know a double meaning to it and shit even the cover with like the dog it's yeah. cause, like 2020 is year uh actually 2020 is year of the rat which that's why i got the rats in the background ah actually. okay okay and then year of the dog is 82 that's when i was born. that was you were born so the whole concept of it too is like i am it's, it's that deep. is my hand it's and deep. i am the dog you know what i'm saying that's your hand that's yeah, that's very cool dog, that's that's, I mean? so that's, that's like, very interesting Something like that, yeah. Uh, and you said uh, it, the whole album is produced by? One take. One take. One take. Is I he from think. Miami? He's from Brooklyn. Okay. You know, but he, he stayed out here for like a year at one point, and then he's been living out here like possibly four years, five years. I don't know. Okay. But Very dope. Very yeah. dope. But that's why it's got like that vibe, too. And I didn't A&R this project. You know what I'm saying? Like, Meaning? you know, as an MC, you play your own A&R most of the time. Of course. Of course. And and all my projects, Hunting Season, Esperanza, Balls to the Wall, like, you know, producer hat, engineer hat, and all this other shit. I had I had dudes that helped me. as Yo, shout out to Do uh, Tony Suarez, Artificial Memory. But those projects, it was like very much me. Yo, I want this track, this beat. You know? Okay. Okay. This I get one, you, I was just like, yo. I've known this dude for so long, so I don't want to get in those like beat sessions. Of, yeah. Like, five hundred beats later, I'm like, yeah, yeah, what right. about number five? <laughs> you can't find it. <laughs> so with this project, I was just like, yo, if he show me a beat that he thinks I should get on, I'm gonna just get on it. Yeah. You and just put yourself in his hands like yeah, that. Yeah, I just, yo, I was yeah. comfortable with doing that's that. That's cool. He, his, his production is dope. Yeah, you got, you, you got, got I mean? bro, very, very dope. Uh, any, any uh, 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 collabs you have for the app? The only collab on it is one takes on on one particular track. Okay. Three of a kind. All right. And then Dubs XL from Hialeah. Okay. He's on he's on the he's on that same joint too. That's what's up. That's so what's up. That's the only that's the only feature we we got on it. Okay. And everything if, else is you spit yeah. and going for going for Dolo. Yeah. If there was anybody I wish I could have had on this album is Sean P. Wow. Um, yeah, Sean P is, is definitely right. somebody I, I would have loved to have on this album. Oh, so you know? so I take it that you're, that you're you're a boot camp click a fanatic. Absolutely, you yeah. know. Absolutely. Sean raised, Price, raised on uh, rest camp, in peace. Yeah. You know, uh, it, 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 it's really weird because uh, now that you mentioned just Sean P is a, uh, I guess it's because we're we're older now and, uh, but but it's kind of weird to to see, you know, like rappers like die. Rappers who who I was a fan of, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, it's it's this weird thing, you know what I mean? Where where you know you're, you're as a you know as a youth, you're not really you know people die all the time, right? So right, right. you're not really you know. But now that we're older, it's kind of like oh shit, my, my favorite rappers are dying. No, <laughs> when Guru passed, man, I was I was so hurt, oh, bro. That's, that, yeah. That you know, I got in 2010, right? Yeah, I got to I got to spend time with him. You know, he. Oh, word? Yeah, I was living out in Mexico. He came out to Mexico. Uh, he did a show out there, and uh, just by you know luck, I got to meet him, and we actually yeah. took him to the to to the pyramids out there. We spent the whole afternoon. Oh, yeah? Him and Solar. Yeah. I heard, I heard he drinks, bro. He he actually. Uh, uh -huh. Doesn't drink anymore oh, like he, that. He wasn't drinking anymore. No, no, no. He stopped. He stopped. He had stopped for some health reasons. Actually, he mentioned. Uh, but yeah, he he was he 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 got into some stories. He got he got, he got a, into some stories about his drinking back in the day. Bro, he got a track you know? with Red Eyes. You know MC Red Eyes. No. From down here, he's from uh, Little Haiti. Oh really? The Red Eyes. He was part. He's part of Zopam, the the rap group Zopam. Okay. He was part of that group, and uh, he got a he got a track with uh, Guru. Yeah, Bro, and, and, and the so, so those like some stories of like you know uh, not that particular studio session, but other studio sessions uh, Google was making his rounds at while he was in Miami and shit. Okay, yeah, and it was always like yo, Google's wild, man. Yeah, like, man. Yeah, I, that... I don't know what era of this life of, of his life it was, but it was like yo, he's wild. Bro. Well, like, you know, man, he 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 came from a from a rough place, and uh, it, so yeah, it, it's just like it's kind of weird to see you know your 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 kind of like people who you admire and stuff pass, but I guess it's just life. Um, going back to to to, to your projects, uh, I saw uh, your video for Daily News. I like that shit. That shit is very dope. I love the concept. You're like. Uh, you're like uh, uh, an anchor, a news anchor, and you're out on, there, you know. On, uh, yeah, you're out there in the in the, in the yeah. golf cart and shit. Where, where, where did you guys film that? Bro, we filmed that like, yo, this album was like written, completely recorded by 2018, bro. Really? Yeah, it was done. It was. It just needed to get final final mix. It took you two shit. years to finalize that shit. Yeah. Because yeah. you put it out last year, right? 
Yeah, put it out 2020. Wow, well, bro. We did. Well, so, some of the delay was also like, it was just us too. You know what I'm saying? Getting yeah. caught up with shit. Dr. Um, Drain it. <laughs> to a certain extent, but not really. We no, we just, gotta change that stare. Fuck. I was working on two other albums as I was working on this one. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, and that's what was creating some of the some of the delays too. Okay. But for the most part, the album was recorded, and then uh, my boy was in town, and my boy Movie Mike, shout out, he he was the vision behind that shit. Okay. I mean, we both were. We we definitely collaborated that day, uh, but uh. We got but the red suit and pound, everything, man, dude. And I was just like, he did High Leo Homegrown. Oh, okay. He was one of the dudes that did High Leo Homegrown. Oh, dope, know, dope. That video. So I knew I was in good hands with him. And we did, uh, I have a track, Massacre Part 5. He did that video, too. Okay, so very I knew, dope. Like, he was just, yo, I'm going to be in town. I'm going to be in town for two days. Let's shoot a video. Nice, nice, nice. Like, That's what's up, let's, man. Let's it, pays, it, it pays to have, uh, I guess pays is not the best word, but it's cool to have uh, uh, friends like dog, that, you know? Dog, that Acquaintances. Day, that, that day... Brothers in arms. I was just like, yo, we're gonna do this Ron Burgundy, uh, you know, parody. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like rap Where did you get the fucking parody. red suit from, dog? The yo, burgundy that, fucking that suit, cuz. Shout out to the red, white, and blue. On, uh, the thrift Ave. store? Yeah. Shut up! Uh, Miami, man. Oh my god, bro. And, and I was just like, yo, I'm a fan. This is this it. <laughs> I gotta find this suit here. And, bro, sure enough, man. Get out kind of chilling. Got, got it out there, dog. Said, la cosa. You know, and it was a wrap. The the golf course is the North Miami one. Oh, okay. So, man, what's the name of that golf course? I don't know. I don't play fucking golf. But <laughs> obviously, man. It's yes. pretty bad out Yes. I'm doing pretty bad out <laughs> That's very cool. That's very cool. Uh, dude, um... What, what what you got coming? What you got cooking for, for, for the audiences now uh, after... Uh, uh, after this album? Um, uh... Just gonna promote the the podcast a little bit more. Okay. We got some dope episodes coming on that. Okay. So I just dropped those funky bastards today, and that shit was like a real, real, like, can't believe I finally got these dudes on here. You know okay, what I mean? dope. It's dope. episode uh, ninety four. Oh, nice. Oh, so you're getting up there. Yeah, 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 you're getting up there. Tell me a little bit about your podcast. What is it that you kind of like? Uh, is it is it is is it always about hip hop? Uh, yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It's all hip hop, bro. It's all hip hop. This shit is all hip hop. Cool. Now, now we do steer off in conversations about okay. other shit, okay. you know. But I let it naturally happen, you know. So, uh, you know, current events might come up every so often because it is sure. what it is. Sure. And you know, of course, I'm not like, I'm not gonna be a host that's like, yo, we're all, we're not talking about hip hop anymore here. So let's bring it back, you know, like, oh, you know, whatever. But uh, because of how my show is set too, yeah. where I'm playing tracks in between, and the tracks are typically like curated for the guest, as you do, uh -huh. um, it helps the conversation steer itself. Okay, you cool, I mean? cool. Um, where can people find you? Uh, let, let let people know where where to find you, where, where to get your podcast, everything. SoundCloud uh, podcast is where you're gonna find it at. So uh, go on SoundCloud, WDDH Radio. Um, as far as myself, BrassBall09 on Instagram. My YouTube channel is Orion Hip Hop. So, you know, uh, yeah, man, I'm going to put out more more tracks, man, definitely. You know, probably, you know, put out more singles and shit. I got a bunch of shit that I can put out now. You know, yeah. That's fire. That's fire shit. I, I, so, I feel you, man. You know, sometimes those kind of things are, are you know, they get complicated up here. Like, you know, you, you yeah. complicate yourself. And, you know. Not only that, babe, <laughs> like you know, when you when you put something out, man, you gotta put a, a, a big energy behind it. Right. So you know, it's like gearing up to do that, you know, and, and you want to make sure that you're there for that, you know. Cause Definitely. If, not, if if I'm dealing with too much outside shit, then if I put this album out now, you I'm don't not give gonna, it the attention. I'm not gonna give it its a, a proper attention right. and energy. You know right. what I'm saying? It's just gonna linger there. It's gonna be like an album for waste, you know. <laughs> Like because Definitely. Then the material becomes yeah, yeah. it becomes old because it's like, stagnant. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, uh, 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 during the during the pandemic, a lot of people, you know, a lot of artists got some work done. Others others got blocked. What was your experience during the 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 last year during this whole shitty was, this whole shitty shit? Yo, I was cool, man. Yeah, I was cool. God like, bless. I mean. Well, fuck it, bro. I, I was obviously worried. Right, right. But uh, after a month or two, I was just like, yo, I'm getting a lot more work done, dog. Dope. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm home all the time. So I was a machine for a minute. Yeah. 
That's very yeah, cool. That's very cool. Tracks compiled together. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. Um, dude, you know it's such a pleasure to to, to have you here. Uh, uh, I gotta I gotta big, send a big shout out to All the Wicked because he put me on to you. Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, man. Uh, shout out to all, man. I got I got so much love for that dude, man. Uh, and, uh, and and it's just a, it's such a great thing to 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 have you here because like I like I said before, uh, you know we we know so many of the same people, yeah. And we we're we're, we're we're in the same circles, you know what I'm saying. So the fact that we get to sit down now and and make yeah. it official and put it on wax, so to say, so to speak, <laughs> uh, uh, man, to me it's such a I, I such a pleasure to have you here, bro. Thank you, man. You, Thank you. You gotta, you gotta come do a WDBH. I could come here and record it. Here. Oh yeah, man. Bro, we could do this. It's great, bro. Oh thanks, man. Thanks, that man. Tour, bro. Like I was like, damn. The great FM. This guy's got it like. The Great really, FM really is, is, is 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 my is my is my my home. Like they've they they've believed in me since day one. You know what I'm saying? They prop me up. They they they're behind me. They're my team. The Great FM and the Great FM Latino. Like I'm telling you, man. They, they, these are great people. These are great people, and they they want to see people succeed. You know what I'm saying? They want to be right. part of people's success, and they and they they uh, uh, enable mm. people to to succeed, and that's. That that's something that that every artist needs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, one of the reasons, kind of, why I do my show and I invite people because I say uh, to myself, well, uh, if I didn't have it coming up, then I should be the 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 the, the thing that that breaks that cycle yeah. as far as my as my actions go, right? Because mm -hmm. I, I I didn't have nobody like that. But now that we do have this in here, yo, I pick, yo, I, I try to invite people all the time, and yo, come through. Let's talk about your music. Let's just talk. Let's have a conversation. Da, 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 da. Yeah. You know, it's even if I disagree man. sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. even if I disagree with something sometimes, we, I like to have it here, and I like for us to like. Uh, I went into it with uh, with with, uh, <laughs> with H and and, 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 and Flaco about uh, uh about the whole uh. uh the the no 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 the vaccine the vaccine we went in and we yeah we, uh, we went on we went on and went on and went on and you know like they we didn't agree but it was so dope to have that conversation you know what I mean like yeah. without you know without being the problem you know we just shook hands and hugged and everything and, wow, you know, okay, yeah, yeah. see you know, see you later bro. <laughs> you know without without you that know, being you, the artist that did uh, uh Orion Esperanza's album cover for me. Okay. My, my dude Dro from Hialeah. Shout out to Dro. Yeah. Uh, that album cover is people lining up to get vaccinated. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. And, and, and it's so funny because it's like way ahead of its time. It was 2008. Yo, dude. That vision came to me in 2007. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and he came to a show and he was just like, yo. Because he was like tremendo, Republican. Really? You know about his thing. You know? Really? Yeah, yeah. But... In a good way, bro. Like, he's a very smart guy, bro, when it cool. comes to, like, really breaking down, like, what's going on and shit. You know, government and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, and we would have arguments be, like, conspiracy. Like, yeah. I'm, like, a conspiracy theorist nut sometimes yeah. and shit. And we would have arguments back and forth endlessly. And even that cover, I was just like, yo, you got to He's that like, shit is deep, bro. And when I broke that it shit all is down, deep, there, it, like, yeah. And that he, shit is yo, deep. He came, to my, he came to a What They Do show, and he was just like, yo. <laughs> that is very like cool. It, right post pandemic, you know right. what I mean? Wow. Like, I'm talking about March and the pandemic started. And we're talking 12 yeah. years after that that Yeah. Right yeah. 12 years after that that, yeah. that came out. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah. yeah. That that cover did have like double meanings again. Right. It was the it was people getting vaccinated which I'll I'll keep it real. I like it was supposed to be RFID chips. I didn't fucking think uh, that they were going to come up with what is it? The mRNA the Yeah. The, what was M this? mRNA. Or, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I didn't think that far ahead either. That's crazy. I, I imagine nah, it's that just... as the RFID chip. And also, if you if you play that album, like the intro is a Cuban poet. Okay. And he's talking about the, you know, what happened the official night that communism grabbed hold of the island and stuff. Right, right. And he's uh, narrating how, like, you know, people heading over here. And it's, it's a really dope part of the record, man. Nice. Like, I got that shit on vinyl. From That's me. dope. You know? That's dope. Shout, you, out, shout out to the thrift stores on uh damn what's that plaza in Hialeah? Flamingo? Oh, oh the Flamingo Plaza yeah, right uh, there, uh, dude. The uh, dude you know uh, that's like ninth and what ninth and tenth or something yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. dope. That's dope. So, oh my yo, god. And, and, and that that first track is uh I got a track uh, uh, a verse there about my uncle, 
and how he came here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and what happened to him? He got caught up in this ship and it was in Greece and it was a Wow. Yeah, it was, wow. it was crazy. That's so, it. That's and that that's so dope that you incorporate that into your music. You know what I'm saying? You're like yeah. you're putting your roots, your your you know what I'm saying, you into that that's very dope brother word, man. yo man thank you so much for, for for being here today uh that's it for us the bad guy show live the great fm latino.com every sunday you know we do this we did it we did a little early today to accommodate uh our, our guest uh oh, but uh shit, nah, no problem man no problem I, I miss KRS and Big Daddy Kane. no no problem no, what, what, they're, doing, they're, do, they're doing they're doing a versus right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. okay dude you that's rescheduled true. it for a great reason <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my I'm sorry. god! I was just like, Yo, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Uh, thank you so much for 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 being here. Check out Orion. Check out the new album, uh, uh, Domestic Animal Attack. It's out now. It, it is very dope. Uh, uh, so yo, thank you very much. And y'all already know, man. Stay tuned. We're gonna go out with a little bit uh, of Orion. As a matter of fact, let's uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, we're gonna do Last MC. Uh, Estás escuchando The Bad Guy Show.